Please come. Seeking lost two potatoes in two days. This is a classic case of starch overload. A student ate 47 potatoes. This is what happened to his stomach. Oh, baby. Uh, brutal difficulty, age of four. Day two. And powerful arcane knowledge. Not looking good. As gods and mortals clash, the forces unleashed will shape a new. Oh, baby, you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. You say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you got what I need. Uh, one second, lads. I'm getting the the audio is wild and audio only. What do you mean the audio is wild and audio only? Surely, the audio should be the same. As audio, audio and audio only should be the same as audio and video. Surely, don't call me Shirley. Oh, baby, you got what I need, but you say he's just a friend. Got what I need. Oh, baby. All right, we're getting we're getting set up here. Sorry, just hold on. Uh, we're doing a little uh, pogging, pogging out of control, good sirs. Uh, if you're aware of what p -p 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 pogging, pogging is p -p 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 pogging. <laughs> All right. So we are. Oh, baby, you got what I need. Did you just fire up the stream? I fired down your mom. Um, yeah, I did just fire up the stream, dude. Make turkey noises in chat. Become one of the turkey horde. All right. What's the big feature to the DLC? Uh, how about the ability to create custom items? How about an entire new culture? How about an entire new form of birds? How about how you create your race is completely different? How about... Water gameplay is completely rebuilt from the ground up. How about an entirely new victory mechanic built around these ancient seals? How about entirely new gameplay mechanics, like the ability to, to, to tell vassals what they should do um, in a very great amount of detail? The real question is, what about this patch isn't a big feature? All right, that's the real question. That's what the boys should be asking. Okay, so I really want to take on this Forsaken Grove. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Fruitful Integration. This will allow me to found cities faster. I'm going to disembark you. You're going to get up over to here. You're going to pop out and pop off. I'm going to take these three army stacks and see if we can't take on some of the, the danger in this area should be doable my capital city can annex another another uh, province so what are we sitting at we're at, sitting at three farms one forester which simply will not do so I'm thinking we go to two foresters Boosh. we need gold income so I think getting the mint here is the play um, oh, baby, you 
got what I need. I think I'm going to grant freedom to these guys. Because I killed their home city. So I'm going to steal all their equipment, which I will then feed into my arsenal. Lightning Sword, Tier 2, Disenchant. Staff of Decay, Tier 2, Disenchant. Staff of Radiance, Disenchant. Helmet, Disenchant. Frost Shield is actually possibly keepable. I don't plan to make melee heroes, so delete the dog. What's this rod? Magic Missile, I think I keep that. Boom. We have so much material essence. So what are my heroes wearing in terms of equipment? Let's have a look here. I think they're both wearing chest plates of vitality, which is actually a tier four item. Disguised as a tier two item. Because if I go down here and I were to try to make the same item, right? This is a tier one um, weaker version of that item. What are you missing? You're missing legs. Uh, give you the rod of magic missile. I think we're also gonna make you I think we need to make you a better mage lock Although I think I'm gonna wait to craft items until I get the tranquility pool because the tranquility pool should give me access to the imperial essence. Sorry um, What does it give again hold on um, Magic materials or is it the tranquility pool? Uh, status resistance, resistance, attunement, and weakening enemy. So this could be quite good. So I'll wait until I've acclaimed that. Right. We finished crafting the, the rod. You know what might be good to make? Is a ring of wind shield. For this hero, because he doesn't have a ring. My other hero does have a ring of escape. So that's fine. I also need to build my third city. The third city is going here. So it is decided. I am very evil. An evil presence lurks in these lands. Uh, I'm not recruiting any units. I have the goal to continue to recruit mercenaries and harriers. Let me have a look at my army here. Uh, I think I would like an extra afflictor. I would like one extra afflictor. How many overseers do I have? It's good to have healers. So there's one support unit, one support unit, and one support unit. So I've got a support unit for each stack. And honestly, I don't think you really need more than one. Um, unless they have like incredibly powerful abilities. So here's another city. Now, we don't get whispering stones. I mean, we can get them, but we could intimidate these guys into being a pact of cooperation, but I don't think that's what we're going to do with our war spoils. I think our war spoils are going to be used to make cannons. Are you evil or just misunderstood? Both. I'm misunderstood evil. So eventually I want to, rec I, I think I would like to recruit my next hero to be based around constructs. See you later, Tom. Thanks for stopping by. I've played, I, honestly, I credit myself with being one of the people who discovered Against the Storm. What a great game. I put that, I, I, I helped put that game on the map. Okay, well, maybe not really. Maybe that's pushing a little bit too far, but I did more than zero. Uh, some mementos from our former lives. Whatever your heirs, finds a container, which I don't be long thought lost. So we can gain a Giant's Bane, tier two. Uh, a ring of deflection. This is a really good ring. That's a really damn good ring. Um, the Executioner is a tier 3. The Gilded Shield. God, that's strong. I could also take money. I really like the Ring of Deflection. Um, that makes you pretty hard to kill with ranged attacks, honestly. Which is most of the weakness of my units. Yeah, you captured a seal. Someone who has two seals, it's okay. Um, all right, so you jump up on there. Insufficient resources. 
we want to take on this ghost ship. It's going to be a harrowing fight. We're up against multiple tier 4 and tier 5 units, aka two of them. We've got this ghost ship with the cruel melee charge, the whale of the lost, which inflicts despair and insanity. Within a two hex radius, he can summon ghosts, a banshee, immune to control loss. He's a demolisher. He's heartless path. Yeah, this guy needs to be focused fired down. Now, thankfully, he is weak to fire. He does have okay armor. The Kraken, on the other hand, is another big problem. But I reckon we can deal with it. Now, what happens if I auto-combat this? We lose a single Sunderer. Honestly, those are acceptable losses considering the level up on the hero and the level up on all these units. And yeah, I'm not going to bother fighting that myself. Considering we have a Sunderer here to replace those losses. Now, I'd also like to take on this Forsaken Cove. Um, do I have any spells that could help me? If I wait a turn for guided projectiles, that could be huge. Let me level you up. Um, Mysterious Tonic, the ability to remove negative effects, I actually heavily undervalued. Um, but I am now valuing it, considering it's a free action. So this is, in fact, a risky battle. Mainly because of the negative morale effect of the Banshees. Hmm. Let's wait for guided projectiles. This will actually help our units quite a bit. Because we'll be able to fire through our units without having to care. Um, I like Mental Mark. Anti-Magic Tincture is really good. Getting rid of negative effects is awesome. I think I'm going to lock Mental Mark and Watcher because they're both awesome. I can only lock one. Um, if I had to pick one, Mental Mark is more important because of that Sundered Resistance. Makes it way easier to uh, to inflict negative effects on them. And I'll go for Anti-Magic Tincture to be able to get rid of negative status effects. Because I have been having trouble with negative status effects. Um... Being able to convert and execute could be handy. Let's grab the blacksmith for the extra draft income. No. Let's grab the granary for the extra income because that's that's a huge boost to our food income. Um, it'll significantly reduce the number of turns it'll take to grow. I do have a friendship from Mishara to Radiant. I don't know why she likes me. Strange. Target the front stack and you'll only fight six guys. That's not how that works in this. If you see their flag highlights, that's not how that works. Um, that was true in old patches on launch. That is no longer true for these. I don't know why I picked such a big map. L listen. Ah, okay. You do need a hero unit for that. All right, let's just see how the auto combat goes. It looks like a lot of my units routed. It's the morale from the Whale of the Banshees. I think we can do something about that. We're going to have to do something a little bit unorthodox. Which is have a sacrificial spearman line.
Soda or beer? That's a soda. I just, I, I had a, I found a Pepsi. Tide Spirit is excellent here. Um, I think the biggest threats are actually the Banshees. So we want to get marked onto the Banshees. Um, so let's move to here with my two little scouty boys. Keep them together. Mark those Banshees. Those Banshees will get to jump in and wail. But hopefully I'll be able to do something about that. All right, let's make a sacrificial spear line. Their job is to defend hard. Um. Skirmishers. Are the second line here flintlocks at the back we need our troops spaced out very very widely you're gonna be overseeing and defensive moding to make these guys tankier Anti-magic tincture yourself. Two bolstered resistance. Excellent. Skirmisher over here. All right. Uh, sacrificial unit to the front. We need to have defense and depth, basically, against this army. Hero 2 is facing the wrong way. That's not important for this turn. The most important thing is that none of my ranged DPSs got hit by the Banshees. Okay. Fury of the Horde, 10% damage. Or we can designate a target. Um, I think dispersing afflicting miasma here is actually based. It weakens them. This guy needs to go down. Alright, heavy mage lock pistol. Bang! I forgot to actually cast the projectiles of decay. I'm actually so depressed with myself. Throw the net, immobilize him. Magic Missile him. Um, invigorate this stack over here. Nothing nearby you can subdue. Mark him. 80% chance. Very nice shot. Alright. That should bring morale back up. So we took a heavy hit the morale, but we're holding the line. You defense mode. Um, you go there, and uh, you go there, you go between, you shoot your blast, you throw this spell, pushes away in a four hex cone, disruption, perfect. Fortify, your goal is to keep them from getting to the soft and juicy back line. Blight resistance, that's fine. Go take the front. Uh, throw a net, hopefully immobilizing him. He is marked at least. Mark him. And Okay, so I think we've weathered the hardest part of the storm right now.
Yeah. Now they're gonna start hitting the front line. But, my big DPS units in the back are still going, right? Mark him. Mark the Kraken! Designate the target. Big damage. Forty nine damage. No subdues available. Uh, mark him. It's all about getting kills. Every kill we get, we restore our morale. Um, can you throw a net to mark him? 33 damage. And then we've got a 60% chance to basically finish him. Perfect. And he's finished. Drive him back a tile. Um, then blind and mark him if you can. Blind resisted, that's fine. Kraken needs to go. I'm willing to lose this spearman over here on the right. You get a 70% chance to hit. Very nice. Decaying and poison. 20% chance to get decaying on him is actually huge. Even if it fails, it's fine. I think the move is to occupy him so he doesn't get a good charge. So I'm going to intercept him with a spearman to keep him busy. And then you're going to come up. Melee strike him so he takes uh, negative debuffs from being in the afflicting miasma. Perfect. Um, I think you're going to take the retaliation for me. We need to get this kill. You're going to run like heck. You will take some damage, but you can retreat. Make sure you're, make sure you're facing the right way. And then heal yourself. Because you're a little bit more expensive than other units. Alright. So if we're looking at where they can get to... They can't really get anywhere deep, and I think we've basically won the battle. So he summoned another Banshee. That's why it's so important for us to get kills here. Is to keep that morale high. I'm okay with losing that. Some of these tier 1 units are very sacrificial, right? They're very replaceable. I have a constant stream of them pouring out of my capital. But we don't want to lose too many units because we need to keep our morale high. Because the enemy inflicts negative morale pretty heavily. Um, 36 damage on him. I think the obvious move is to mark him. The old ship. Uh, I can't afford... Any spell casts, unfortunately. Let me see. What do you got? You got a mark available? No. Nope. Any markables? You can get a mark on him. That brings up the five marks. You got a 100% chance for a 70 damage. You also got a 10% crit. Come on, baby. Very nice. 70% chance to kill. 25% chance to graze. All right. Uh, kill that Banshee. Blap. 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 Um, let's see what we can do. Are any of these units subduable is my question. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I think they have to be... Um, um, ah, they have to be uh, immobilized, frozen, or stunned. So that's part of the problem. Why don't you go ahead and mark... 
Um, I guess you could move forward a tile and then mark that banshee. Boom. You can get this kill for me. You can melee strike him. Get around there. Hit him with the afflicting miasma. You move forward. Go ahead and provide wards. Get him with the poison and the decay. You slip through. Give him two slashes. This is the power of the birdmen. The fact that they can run through their own lines is insane. Get through and get that kill. Keeping our morale high by killing. I think we've basically won the battle, but we could still lose one to two tier one units here. The regen, I think, was pretty big. This is going to be a painful whale. Yep. <clears throat> nice, we got a fumble on the enemy. That's painful. We need to get rid of you. Thankfully, you're right in our firing line. You've got no marks on you. I'm going to inflict two marks because that will increase the damage my units do to him by 10% each. Bring us up to 59. Bang. And then a 38. We need like a tiny smidge more damage. Here's a question. What if we immobilize the Kraken? We could subdue a Kraken. <gasps> We could grow a Kraken! Oh, shh. It. Come on, give me the kill. Boom. Any more nets in the party? What else could we net? I don't care about the Phantasm Warrior or the Banshee. Honestly, I think I just care about the Kraken. Calamari's back on the menu, boys. I don't like that my hero took so much damage. It kind of bothers me. Oh, what a crit. 90% chance. Um, magic Missile gets me the kill there. You retreat, face display, defense mode. You get around, he's now flanked. Uh, these guys are legitimately fleeing, I think. Drive him back. Slash him. And... Yeah, he's routing. He's going to teleport in and do an AoE, isn't he? What a jerk. No! No, we killed him! We didn't mean to! I wanted the Calamari! Finish him off, Potato McSquawker. All right, we lost two tier one units. We've got a bunch of levels. We picked up 81 gold. Plus we picked up a vampire spider tier three mount. Uh, gold and a binding essence, as well as a banshee. 
I think the Banshee? That's a delete from me, dog. I don't even think... Like, it's 18 mana per turn on a unit that does not fit into my build. Right, where's my nearest hero? You pop up there. I know, I know. We lost Squiddy. Squiddy didn't know. All right, rebuild the city of the heirs of dinosaurs. Boom, that'll take two turns. Um... We got silver tongue fruit here that we could take advantage of. I see the we see the terrain layout. So if we put a put an outpost on this tile, which is what I'm gonna do. Take a turn to rest here while we wait, and then we'll take on this. We still have 14 turns. We can get the silver tongue fruit, which will be nice um, as part of a magical material. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that scout on auto explore. Uh, Voxengrad can annex a new province. I am going to take a couple quarries in here for sure. We need to go to our second quarry. Slowly building up the infrastructure in here. I think a workshop is next. Honestly, workshop should be like literally next on the market. As should the stonemason, so we can develop the city even faster. My looter has my, my leader has leveled up. Um I do think strength training is pretty good here. It gets us to endurance training as well. He's very much so focused on his units. He does have archery one, archery two, but he has defensive training, strength training, battle seeker training, which is basically like um, another stack of defense training. And he also has strength training. So he makes his units quite a bit stronger, which I, I think distributing that power is quite good. Uh, guided projectiles, like I would much rather have the 17 upkeep of guided projectiles versus the um, the Banshee, right? So now my units will ignore um, things being in their way. Uh, we did build a windshield signet. Um, that was for this guy. Although I do prefer the ring of escape. It's like slightly better. It's a dragon. Don't worry about the menu going crazy. That's that's just a my computer thing. I'd like to get another city down here, so it would be nice to unlock expanded governance eventually. To that end, it would probably be a good idea to build up my wizard tower to get that imperium income. All right, so we're chilling here for a turn to heal. We are going to build a palisade wall. We are going to annex this province. And I think the thing to take is a little bit of re... Well, honestly, the mana is so good. Uh, nice job on the city ruins over here. 
Um, you should be fine to move out. We'll chill here. We'll kill these guys next turn. We're setting ourselves up for success. Nice. Are you winning, son? Absolutely. Uh, Fangir is evil. He is threatened by me, though. I don't know why. Alright, you pop over here. This should be an easy auto-resolve. Shouldn't lose anything. Yeah, simple auto-resolve. We pick up 70 gold to lock out the channeling. Uh, we get production in Airfort. Ooh. Uh, I think I'll take the production in Airfort. So that's a decent amount of production. Um, city stability is okay. Being able to get the Dragoon and Mage Lock Cannon would be super useful, so I think I'm going to go for the Change Spire here. Um, we'll keep making Mercenaries and Harriers. We want to have like a never-ending flow of crappy tier one units in front of our giga units it's a low risk battle but i still don't like it if i wait a single turn it's so much easier it's a way easier battle lose a single harrier that's fine don't care I'm more than happy to auto-resolve sometimes. Um, Effencrass just got built. I think we're going to open with a pair of foresters on land. Because that's the fastest way to develop the city from a food perspective. Because you could build the food buildings with, forester build with foresters. The more we can develop the food, the faster this thing will claim tiles, the more boosts we can get, the more production, all that stuff. So the general goal is to grow. We are going to need to think about teleporters in the near future. Um, that's definitely going to have to factor into our plans. Anti-magic tincture is super useful. Um, mental mark is great. I think I'm going to take that. Two more research cycles. We do now have the Tranquility Pool, which could, in theory, lead to us making a better item. Let's have a look at what this enables in terms of um, Mage Lock Infusions. So Slowed, okay, Weakened, and Wet. Okay, There's something to this, I think, inflicting these negative modifiers let me have a look um what do the overseers need to subdue immobilized frozen or stunned okay so we'll think about that you've leveled up you've got an iconic ability
frost fire detonation is um it's a magic ability but it is quite good for aoe damage it makes our enemies a little bit more scared to group up could theoretically be better than firing the mage lock gun so i'll take frost fire detonation i like it um I think defensive training is fantastic. It's a 10% effective health increase for all of these units. It's just so huge. Um, a Chaos Adept. Ooh, I like that. Unstable. He teleports through a random place every time he get, takes damage, but he has minus 40 hit points. Interesting. Intimidating Aura and Distracting. I think I'm going to take the Chaos Adept. They're metropolitan cat folk. Now nah, I'm gonna take one of the heirs of dinosaurs. I'm gonna take this guy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and reset his skills. Mark target, mysterious tonic, and defensive training. That's how I'm building my heroes. We'll need to make him a mage lock, I think. I think I'm going to wait a turn, though, until I clear this. And I'll let him govern, govern Effenkratz. The cat looks cute. Were the heirs of the dinosaurs? Are cats dinosaurs? I didn't think so. Okay, maybe if they look like a saber tooth tiger, maybe I would let them live. All right, <clears throat> let's move in this army. Uh, this should be an easy auto combat now. Two T1s lost, plus my hero died. That's fine. He'll recuperate pretty quick. Go join these guys. Move them over into the battle line. We'll kill the spider as well. No losses. Take the eagle mount, you pop back. So now we have the silver tongue fruit. What does that give us? So now we could do blight damage. Uh, and we also have the ability to inflict condemned, inflict poisoned, inflict slowed, weak and wet. Okay. What about spear infusions? All right, what about bow infusions, blight damage, inflict? What about this infusions, blight damage, Just be expected, okay. Um, we're a horde of rampaging dino people who are, who are racist against all non-prehistoric vibe creatures. I, I mean, kind of, but not. All right, so we got we got new options. Ooh, Starblade's attunement. Not bad. What what's the helmet attune? Okay. And the boots. Okay. Uh, new infusions on the rings. Inspiring killer. Universal camouflage. New wand abilities. Hindering blizzard. And summon spider. All right. And then we also have army trainer. All right, cool. So we got some new stuff. Also, I'm kind of tempted to make a dual weapon hero. Maybe a guy who inflicts poison. Let's see, so it's a tier one item right now. Um, if we add crit chance, it becomes a tier two item. 
and weakened, slowed, wet, afflicting bleeding makes it a tier 3 item. If we can add another infusion, it does become a tier 5 super item. Um, now nah, you know what, I like the mage locks. I do like the idea of poison damage though. So inflict bleed, inflict poison, 10% crit chance, we need another infusion. Honestly, Animal Slayer is not bad. Weakened is also great for countering strengthened. And here's the thing. Right now this thing does 48 base damage. If I add another thing, it does 52 base damage. I really wanted to do that 50 base damage. Um, the Huntsman's Mage Lock, I think that's going to be what it is. It inflicts bleed and poison. Now, the thing is, it's really weak against constructs, but it's really good against anything that... The problem with this weapon is, the problem with a, with a Mage Lock inflicting bleed and poison is that things don't live very long for a Mage Lock. Right? So we're never really going to get benefit from these abilities. These are much better, like, put on, like, a sword. Because a Blight Sword, it hits them three times. You know what I mean? But to be honest... If I take these off, it is slightly better. What's the current mage lock that we're using on the hero? 10% crit chance and bleed. The bleed is really there just for the extra damage. Honestly, I don't even think we make a better item. I think we just take uh, mage lock. Uh, inflict poison, inflict bleed, anti-animal, and 10% crit chance. Let's just make it. Let's make the Giga Rifle. The Arachnus Blood Letter. Let's do it. All right, what's next on our agenda? I think we really need to get rid of this. It's going to harass us and send stuff against us. And what I might do is send this group of units up to the north and start just clearing out my coastline all along here to collect all these money, all these resources, and all this experience. And then by the time I've made it back down to here, I should be in pretty good shape to take that on and potentially claim this world tree. So... Let's get into position for a potential embarkation. So Evan Kras can annex another province. I think we take a forester again because we want to go straight to granary. Then we want to go double farm so we can go double workshop. I think that's the play. We never built palisade walls here, it's fine.
And then I think one of my goals in this process of clearing out the local seas would might be to get a control of this seal and have a pretty strong stack of units on it holding it. Probably all tier ones. Um, so obtain a tranquility pool. Decline the quest. I'm just going to decline the quest. I'm not going to do anything weird about it. Just straight up decline. Hi, Cybershock. Condemned does give them negative debuffs, but it has no synergy with my build. Uh, this should be an easy auto combat. No losses. We gain a little bit of money. We gain some resources. Upkeep is seven. Uses five. Um. The extra money from this would be great. I think I need the mana. Uh. Ooh, surge spell casting is really good. I should I should absolutely take that. Reducing the casting cost of all of the combat spells by 25% for a few turns is really damn good. All right, we'll have to reorganize our army a little bit in a moment. Un moment. Okay, so we can start producing the Mage Lock Cannon, which is the ultimate um, ranged unit for the Reaver faction. It's extremely expensive, 60 gold per turn. Um, but it is a 30 damage, 3 hex line. It's also a construct. Um, it has land movement. It's a ranged unit. It's immune to control loss. It does focused aggression. It has guided projectiles. It's heartless, which means it's Im bas basically immune to morale. It's reinforced, so it's strong against physical attacks. And it does siege breaking. Um, so I think just adding a couple of these to our army, especially because they don't cost gold to construct, it's quite good. Um, I think I'm going to go for the mint and then the next tier of wizard tower for that imperium income and we can also get started on the bolstering matrixes All right, so let's take the scout out. Of, well, I gotta wait until it's actually my turn. The fact that I have like a maxed out map with like as many players on it as possible um, has made the the end turn take a while. <laughs> what the heck? Right, I'm going to put a farm here. Boom. And then I'm going to replace this farm with a quarry. That'll get me up to three quarries, which is where I want to be. Take you out. You go auto explore. Uh, this is my leader and he does best with tier one units in his army. Or rather, he has benefits for tier 1 units, making them slightly better. Alright, so we've got three full stacks heading up and around to deal with some of this nonsense that I've got going on. 
I'll build up a stack here in the capital to deal with this. Mage Lock Cannons will get some combat experience at least. Uh, we do have Mental Mark finished now. Mysterious Tonic for our support units could be good. Wayfinder Enchantment I don't care too much about. The Material Refinery is okay. It's 10 Knowledge and 10 Gold for a relatively expensive spell. I think I go for the Mysterious T Tonic. It makes my support units better. Do I, only, do I really only have two support units? Huh. Thought I had three. All right. Got some sunken ruins here. I think the natural next move was to go for farms. But these pearl reefs are awesome, so I'll put a farm on those. Then we'll get that workshop. I didn't mean to trespass. I timed my end turn wait times and got up to 10 minutes by turn 60 plus. I don't think mine are getting that long. I really just hate simultaneous turns. I would much rather let them... Uh... I would much rather sit through the turn timer, honestly. Simultaneous turns really bother me. Like, that was like a, a 50 second turn timer. That is not bad at all. All right. So, I will only accept an auto resolve with no losses. Okay, maybe two losses are acceptable. Especially because I have literally the units that I lost over here ready to go. They were only tier 1s. Oh, look at all those levels coming in. Alright, what are you in the middle of? Reinforcing your patrolling armies. We'll have to take these guys out soon. Not quite ready for that. Alright, let's have a look. Felinka the Bolt leveled up. Ooh, lock of a channel. Very nice. Uh, what else you got going? Yeah, strength training. Seems reasonable. I think my main hero just leveled up. Which should mean a new signature skill. Frostfire detonation is great. I'll take that. And we'll also take the endurance training. 10 hit points for all those units. Like, these spearmen, normally they start with, um... What is it? Like, let, let's have a look here. A normal basic mercenary spearman starts with 75 HP. All right. These giga uber super uh, spearmen that I have um, that aren't even exalted legends yet 
have 106 HP. So they're getting 20, they're getting 31 HP uh, from a variety of sources. They're probably getting what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 from there, 15 from the leader. Yeah, that makes sense. And they're getting two armor from him. And they're getting two resistance from him. So just think of like the effective HP that these guys have is crazy. Are we still doing mom jokes or is it passe now? We still do mom jokes. That's still a thing. Warding Bond is not very good. Rallying Blessing is awesome. Demon Step is okay if I want you to be melee, but I don't want you to be melee. Mana Unchained is crazy good. Particularly for repeating attack units, but also two strength is crazy. Strength training active. I got a trade proposal. A wizard's bonds with Rack Shaggy. Sure. Why are you invading me? I'm so far away. I'm not even the closest city. Well, I might be the closest city. Oh, oops. Doing mom jokes is not so much a thing for potato McWhiskey, it's more of an addiction. <laughs> yeah, because I'm addicted to your mom. I gotta release the final episode of Civ 6 tonight. Hey, it's gonna be poggers. Alright, jump in the water. They merged up. Yeah, I figured they were water spirits. Ugh. I'm gonna wait for the cannons. In the meantime, I'll take out some smaller, easier foes. All right, nice. You produced a market. I definitely want another. My, I definitely want another forester in here. Um, I want to build a town hall. Well, I definitely need the Arcane Institute. I need everything. But I need things like the mob camp. The alchemist lab would be really nice. <clears throat> um, yeah, just got a bit of work to do. All right, let's have a look. So we can raise cities. 500 draft this turn. Pillaging a province takes minus one turns. If you win a battle, you have a 25% chance to... Gain a unit. Um, special province improvements provide gold. The extra mana would be nice. Forced march. Extra city cap. The extra city cap would be nice, but I think the thing that would help me a lot right now would be arcane artisans. 
It's a decent amount of mana, 10 mana per turn, and that will go up over time. As we get our hands on more things that provide us that buff. Alright, second fish farm is down. Stonemason is coming. We do have Arachna's Bloodletter now. Which should, in theory, make this guy quite a bit stronger. Because now he does 60 damage. Baseline. And he has Bleeding, Poison, Piercing, Animal Slayer. Do these count as animals? They do. That's a 40% damage increase against Krakens. That's very useful. Um... So I think it's maybe time to look into developing some better leg armor for my hero. Let's have a look at what we could do. So... If we do something like this, he becomes pretty resistant. Is this a good replacement for Civ 6? No, it's an entirely different kind of game. It's like asking me, is is a is a bicycle a good replacement for uh, a HDMI cable? The answer is no. It's not. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I don't know. Why is a raven like a writing desk? War shaman, boo -da -boo -da -boo. heard about the last one, so thanks, but no thanks. Ooh -ooh. Mm. I think this works slightly better for a setup. Two frontliners, a support, and then three DPS. Two frontliners, a support, and two DPS. My third DPS will be the Afflictor from this army. And then you're going to scoop up the leftovers. Honestly, I think I'm going to stop building these skirmishers. While well, they are good. I much prefer the um, the tier three skirmisher. Um, this guy. The dragoon. All right, let's take this on. The auto resolve is quite bad. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be quite frank with you guys my name is not Frank but I am being quite frank with you right let's see what we can do first things first should have attacked with this guy didn't oh well uh, let's summon our elemental We're going to set up a battle line 
Well, in theory, right here. Just want him to run forward and eat damage while I get my troops set up. Cannon is in position. Mage locks in position. We've got our X formation. Gonna set up our next one. You get there, drop a heal on him. Distribute a mysterious tonic, sir. Hold that front line. You peel. Hopefully he gets regeneration. Nope. All right, DPS, peel right. Most of my units are in position. Yep, the Banshee's Whale hits hard, but does not do what it needs to do to really stop me. Right, he just punched a mage lock, I'm pretty sure, to death. Son of a bee. Right, good job, Elemental. You're distracting. All right, let's see what we can do to deal with this. Let's get the Afflictor over here. We're going to weaken him. Move you to here, and then drive him back, thus opening him up to shots. If we shoot here, we get a kill. Why don't you go ahead and mark him? Boom. Nice crit. Boom. You drop yourself a little defensive heal. You fortify there. You teleport even deeper into enemy territory to be even bigger distraction. Leave behind that fire. That's perfect. All right, so we dealt with one of these guys. We've got to deal with another. Mark him. Move to here. Drive him back. Then we should be able to shoot him comfortably. Um, get up into melee. Get up behind. Miasma shot. Support. Melee heal star blades. All right, what have we got in terms of DPS? I'm worried about this ability. So distracted and marked. 
Bang. 38 damage. You get in there and finish him. You fall back, face this way, defensive mode, keep everyone safe. Give him one jab. Defend mode, and I would say that that was a pretty successful turn. Yeah, lovely, look at that. Sending this extremely high value tier 5 unit to the back of the line. Oh, the Kraken is insane! My god! We need that morale more than anything. Kraken needs to go down. Designate target on the Kraken. Too much friendly fire, not enough focused fire. Finish him. Lovely. Um, poison decaying. Get forward, you don't have drive back, but you can do a little bit of damage. Get that little bit of damage. Bang. Bring that morale back up. Boom, boom. Get that kill. Ugh. All right. What are we dealing with now? We're up against a single Banshee. Probably lose this construct, honestly, sadly. Morale is neutral. We need to get rid of these Banshees. It's a rough battle. All right, get that kill. Patch him up. Um. Not very efficient damage, is it? Technically counts as flanking him. Finish him. Oh, that last graze.
We need to get those kills. Come on, 65%. Alright, lovely. Every kill matters here. I just need to lose no more units. Alright, nice. Alright. Finish him. The summoned banshees need to go. Mark him. You need to get out of here. You've been weakened to five times. Good God. All right. Designate him as a target. Patch him up. Get him into melee. Tonic himself. Get him into melee. Flanked and distracted. Get as much damage on him as we can. Um, boom. 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 Call this a pretty bad battle. Really need you to finish him. Really need you to mark him. 57 damage. Can't use your ability for two turns. Why don't you fall back to a safe distance so you can't get caught by a banshee summon or something like that. Whew. Oh, he just summoned another goddamn banshee. Oh, he caught him anyway. I tried. One of my units went insane. Two of my units went insane. Three of my units went insane. Kill him. All right. So, honestly, a pretty costly battle. Um, but a completely necessary battle. We lost one, two, three, four expendable units plus two non-expendable units. I'm going to need to build a mage lock and a mage lock cannon. We did get the sky piercer tier four shoot crossbow. Ignores up to five. Damages units on the line. This is basically an artillery gun for heroes. Um, I'm going to give that to my latest hero. There you go, there's a sky piercer. The, I, honestly, that was a pretty good outcome considering what the auto resolve was giving us. Super don't want a Banshee. It's just an expensive waste. Um, Dragoons are extremely good melee units. I'm going to build myself... more units, but I'm going to put the um, mercenaries to the front because they're cheap, expendable. 
and they give my army momentum. Why don't you pop into my territory to heal for a turn? Some of you guys might be able to make it to my territory to heal for a turn too. We did just unlock Mysterious Tonics and we can get our next home. So the next home that we want to choose is kind of like... I do think the Tome of the Artificer or the Tome of the Construct could be pretty good with the Bronze Golem. It's a question of do we want critical hit chance for our melee units plus iron golems to hold the front line plus siege magic um, to make our support units into siege weapons um, and the golem mine to give us extra gold or do we want the workers construct nexus which gives us a variety of resources. We get access to the Bronze Golem, which is a really powerful uh, Tier 3 unit. Um, linked Mines, which makes us immune to flanking. Compounding Defense. And honestly, neither, none of these are actually very good for us. Linked Mines is great. Plus the ability to give all constructs plus one defense and healing 10 health points per world map turn. There's some advantage to that. Um... This really only helps my polearm units. I think there may, might actually be a better book for us. Let's have a look at the Tome of Mayhem. There we go. Range units would inflict misfortune. Which includes our support units. This could be really good. The Gremlin we don't care about. Infectious Insanity we don't care about. Soul Confusion is actually pretty good. The Scald is, re is a really powerful... Um, really, 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 really powerful support unit. Um, it can give us regeneration, hasten, high morale. It could replace our current... Support units. Revels of Carnage, Reveler's Heart, means we get extra morale from all sources, meaning we're more likely to be on high morale. Um, Revels of Blood is a great siege project. Blood Fury Weapons. Permanent high morale is really good, don't get me wrong. And um, this support ability here, plus 20% critical hit dance, damage, like this actually fits really quite well with our build. What other options we have? I don't think we have very good options. The Tome of the Doom Herald, I guess. I really like the idea of replacing <coughs> my um my support units with scalds. The Carnival of Flesh is pretty good too. It's a little bit of food, a little bit of draft. Reveler's Triumph, that critical hits chance. It's a support hero skill. My mo I'm mostly building support heroes. The Tome of Mayhem is awesome. The problem is this doesn't apply to ranged units. And I'm not using many frontliners. My front line is expendable anyway, so I super don't care. Yeah, 
If I was relying more on constructs, the Tome of the Constructs would appeal to me a lot more. This just doesn't appeal to me at all, nor does this. I mean, the Nymph is a pretty cool support unit. Condemned is really good. I'm going to go with the Tome of Revelry. It's what I've never picked before. Um, I really want the Scald. I also want Blood Fury. Oh, man, I want all three of these, but I can't take all three. <sighs> Alright, which one do I want more? I think I don't care as much about Blood Fury weapons in comparison to getting the Scald and the Reveler's Heart. So I'm going to... Lock Reveler's Heart and research the Scald. I think that's the order. Let's have a look. Uh, Felinka the Bolt leveled up. Um, endurance training, confirm. I always like building support heroes rather than heroes that like fight themselves very well. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like heroes that fight well. But support heroes that like support my armies feel... Especially when you're doing like an expendable build where you can just shuffle in new units constantly. I mean, the auto resolver is quite a bit better, I feel like. What's this? Hmm, they're preparing an invasion. I'll have to go deal with this monster den soon. But I also have to deal with all of this stuff around my borders. There's a lot of loot, a lot of resources, a lot of potential economic power hiding in around here. Um, so I can lose 238 gold. 70% success chance. I gain a chaos boon for stability. Uh, sure. What are the chances that I lose? 30%. Never mind. Wow. Okay. I just lost gold. Great. Nice. I feel like I shouldn't pay gold to roll a dice. I feel like if I'm paying gold, I should just succeed. Because I've already I've already paid the, the iron price, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we need, we need to deal with this. This has become a crisis. Alright, we got the next hero, Wizard Tower. Um, we don't have a conduit in this city, unfortunately. We could build a spell jammer. Spell jamming. Um, we could also build the Carnival of Flash. Flash. It's a slightly better farm for pretty expensive. I do like the idea of the channeling tower. Yeah, I'll get the bathhouse and the... I'll make a decision later. Alright, get your third quarry, my boy. 
Thank you so much, uh, Lorcas, for subscribing with Prime. Appreciate you. Ooh, I do like the idea of um, advanced logistics. No, uni no movement penalties when embarking. Very useful on a water map. And faster movement when embarked. Hi, Bose. Spelljammer, I hardly know her. You're not wrong. Huh, unless you're talking about your mom. <laughs> then I know her very well. War party. Me no wanna go. You're not my dad. Show us what you know. Giggity. Alright, so he attacked me. It should be easy. Auto resolve. They took out my war shaman. I literally can't get more of those. Unless. Um, let's play it safe. He says before immediately not playing it safe. Patch yourself up. War shaman. Burn, burn, burn. Lovely. Mage lock here. You go there, War Shaman to the front. Boom, 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 Ah, yeah, perfect, regen. Gonna roll the dice with that thing. Alright, they're gonna mill about a little. You're gonna make me an elemental. That elemental is gonna go hard boom well we mess around I mess around mess around mess around I mess around um get closer mark him magic missile him I like how he still uses the gun animation this pleases me Reminds me of a book I read where all the magic was just people shooting guns. Uh, it was called America? <clears throat> no. <clears throat> USA. All right, what are my favorite spells here? I like designate target. I like mental mark. And Yeah, anti magic tincture. Being able to get rid of negative effects seems quite good. Boom. Alright, let's see what they do. Ah! He leapt. Get your hands upon me. Wait, that's not how that goes. Alright, we need to get rid of this Flegel. Oh, Mage Lock to the butt. Bow. 
Now, I'm very curious, what happens if you drive back in here? Nothing, okay? We have learned that nothing happens. War Shaman, get up closer. Blast him. Now he gets killed. He is now dead. Mark the dragon. Mark him. Use your magical splash. Whoosh. Um, shoot him. Super dead. He's what we like to call super dead. Super dead. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Forty-two eighteen, more like sixty-eight thirty-three. <gasps> Animal Slayer. Oh, get the obliterated. Get up there and shoot your giga crossbow, kuchunk. You get up. Get on up, Mark, and Mark the fool. Get on up. Bam. Oh. Bam. God, you love to see it. Mage lock. Fire when ready. What we really need is for someone to edit in the um, Counter-Strike no scope or like scoped in as like they shoot the as they shoot the nymph. Now that would be hex extremely poggers. All right, let me think about what I'm doing here. Good expansion or nay? Um, good. Considering the fact that I almost never stream, the fact that I'm sitting here and streaming should tell you that it's a good expansion. Please don't lose any units. Okay, I don't have to fight this battle. Easy clap. Gore Tusk Matriarch. Dismiss. I would rather just buy more Mage Lock Cannons. Ricochet Crossbow, Carrion Bird, Take Reward. Eh, Carrion Bird? I mean, actually. 80 hit points, blight blades, empowered beasts, engraving a focus, low maintenance. It's not a terrible unit, but it doesn't fit into my build. It has no utility that I require. Let's get it on. So I'm waiting for the teleporter infrastructure because that's going to be, that's going to be when the game opens up for me. Is when I can start teleporting around the world. Getting it on with your mama. No. <clears throat> uh, Ruler leveled up. So, naturally, oh, 20% critical hit damage. I don't think precision training is very good. Reveler's Triumph, though, is fantastic. I need to find more magical materials. Haste berries over here, for example. Need to grab those. I also need to grab this seal. How much was this game? I don't know. I got it for free. 
I think. Maybe I bought. I think I bought the. Wait, no, I bought this. I bought the base game, but I got all the DLC for free. I bought the base game because I was impatient. In fact, my contact at Paradox even told me, "Hey, don't buy our games. We'll give them to you." And I was like, "F you, nerd! I'll do what I want." Word for word, no lie. It's exactly how it went down. All right. Boom. All right, let's kill this guy. Easy kill, no losses. Boom. Love to see it. Fiery wake boots. Pikeman chilling over here. Well, actually, really, the pikeman should follow as a reinforcement. Do I think I can take this? I'm going to wait for reinforcements here. Um, so now we need to get the quarry. So one quarry. What is that hat? It's a potato. He's wearing a potato because I'm potato McWhiskey. You, never see, you act like you've never seen a potato before. Yeah, crazy. Is it a mod? I don't know. I just I just have that hat. What's a potato? Great question. I wish I knew. It's a question I've been asking myself ever since I was born. If only there was a starchy vegetable of some kind that I could bring into my life, but it just, it just doesn't exist. Um, all right. Uh, I think I will demand a portion of their mana before they go. They have to ring every generation. Super good for a frontline hero. Too bad we have none of those. You moved it there. You move to there. You clear this. I really? You're going to make me lose an afflictor? You're going to make me fight this battle manually? Get your frost fire detonation. Why isn't the hat a whiskey bottle instead? Because I'm potato McWhiskey, not whiskey McPotato. Get it together, my guy. Hold world's relying on you. To like vote correctly in elections and you can't even tell basic things like that. Is this a Twitch chat or a Roman forum? Why not both? It can be many things. All right, let's see what they do. Owie. You really don't have line of sight to that guy? Mark them. Mark them, Polo. Boom. Nice damage. Really? Distribute a tonic to yourself. 
Guaranteed 25% 25 damage or a chance at damage. Why is your shot so bad? Long range. All right, let's see what we can do about that. Feist them up, boys. Fire the cannon. Oh, yeah. Boom. You don't even need a direct fire. That's attritional damage right there. All right, can we mark him? Mark him, book him. Uh, Frostfire detonation. Can't hit him all, so we'll just go for the shot. 78% chance. Oh, sorry, 78 damage, rather. 78% chance. Magic Missile. He does have Lightning Resistance. The Bristling Wall of Spearmen. Await your approach. Let's see what they do. He froze me! A jerk! Oh, yeah. Blast. Hold on. Get the flank. Oh. Boom. Stab. Stabbeth. Cannonade. Boom. Fire. I believe that is what we call obliteration. Right, hopefully we get a good auto combat here. Nice. Just got to get over here now. Pretty happy about that. We've cleared off the coastline pretty easily. All right, we got our first, um, first skirm. Tier three skirmisher, very unique, quite a powerful unit. Um, does up to 60 damage in melee, has a harrying shot, which inflicts distracted, aka basically makes all attacks flanking, um, and can move after attacking. Very fun, very powerful unit. I don't really have much to build in this city right now. So I'm just going to build, um, I'm just going to produce merchandise for a turn. Also, we have 1337 gold, which feels good. Which one of the seven cultivated potato seasons uh, varieties am I? I'm all of them. Let's get ourselves a mob camp. We totally learned how to uh, recruit Scalds. Um, Revels of Carnage, I don't care about that. Blaze of the Horde, I don't care about that. I will go for Reveler's Heart. Let's take that. Um, definitely would like to start replacing some of my, um, my support units with Scalds. I think these would fit really well into my build. So I'll recruit three of them. To set up our triple stack A team. Um, Reveler's Heart is really good. 
Especially because we're going to be permanently at tall morale. Now, you also leveled up, which I'm happy about. Reveler's Triumph, perfect. Empire Development Skills. We need to save up for Teleporter. Four turns until we get it, which means we could go for Expanded City Cap if we wanted to. Siege Projects. We're not really fighting anyone. We don't need Tier 3 one unit, Tier 1 units. We don't need a City Cap right now. I mean, we could make use of it and delay Teleporters. Yeah, let's do it. Delay Teleporters. Go for the City Cap. Turn this into a City. It's a good spot for a city. It's got a tier 3 wonder. Um, it's close to my central core, my central economy. We're looking happy, boys. I am the Omni Potato. Loving that some of my units are finally reaching the apex of their levels. Ooh, no, you know what? I'm not going to turn this into a city. I'm probably going to raise this. Build a city here and connect to this underground. This dark lair would be fantastic to claim. I could even make an underground city actually. Ooh, there's a temptation here to make an underground city. I think I might. Because I could take the Sanctuary of the Horde. Get access to the Phoenix. Sanctuary of the Horde, Dark Lair, and the World Tree. All in a single city eventually. That could be huge. You could always plant the city, then release it as a tributary. The problem is the city has to have a certain level of development. And it also costs a lot of Imperium to do that. How do you get it for free? Um, the ways in which you can get it for free, um, I'm not allowed to recommend. Nor even hint at, because honestly, unless um, you literally can't acquire it in your country, probably shouldn't do that. Should be an easy enough solo battle for my leader. All right, so we're clearing out this whole area around us, which is generating us a lot of revenue. Have you ever played Stellaris? I've played Stellaris on my YouTube channel, in fact. Okay. So. Let's keep building towards our late game. I'm going to put you right here. Alchemist Lab, that's worth 22 research. Very useful. You can annex another province. Uh, we could use another forester in here. Ooh, Extraction Nexus. I don't remember unlocking that. Um, we 
There's a forester we need. So we have three of each, which allows us to boost the estate hall. Arbory is also boosted. Let's build anything that's basically boosted. Ooh, fortune would be really good if we could figure out how to get an order. If we could figure out, out an order tome to take that had like a nice buff for us, that'd be sick to get three fortune. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, love you, love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, 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 I will entertain your request. Um, build the conduits. Don't care. I will take a bunch of free food. Thank you. No losses. No losses. Perfect. I'll send you to go deal with these. These should be easy enough. Low treasures while I keep the rest of my units moving around the coast. Okay, you can annex another coastal province. Yeah. It would be nice to get a conduit. But I do want to get to three farms and three quarries. So let's go ahead and take this final quarry. Um, get that granary boosted. My economy is in great shape now. Very, very happy with my, um, very happy with my economy. Put a reaver manufactorum there. So what are you up to? Get your second quarry. Boom. I do think a tier one shipyard makes sense, as does the vendor, but I'm more interested in... Well, this city needs to be defended, actually. My ruler is leveled up. Which means now he has spur to action, which is a free thing that allows him to give to refill the actions of another unit. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of infestations abound.
This game does look gorgeous. It's superb. Graphically. Alright. You go merc him. Easy kill. Go take on this. Uh huh. Easy kill as well. Got you a level, not you. So I got you a level. You also have spur to action. Um, you're missing another DPS unit, so we'll put you in there. You're missing a spearman, of all things, actually. There you go. All right, got my three stacks up and running. Where are they running? Better go catch them. Go <laughs> hook. Um, I want you to go defend this outpost. You're going to go pop up here before you go back down, and you're going to clear this. Uh, you produce a granary. I'm not quite ready to produce units out of there. I don't care. Somebody is running away with the seal victory. So I do need to deal with the seals um, soon. Particularly, I need to get control of this seal. So I think it's about time that we started working on that. Um, so I think... A combination of... Mercenaries. We'll do the trick there. So we'll slowly start recruiting mercenaries from some of these cities to uh, prepare to send the mercenary swarm on them. I think if I was doing another one of these gigantic um, super games, I would maybe go to simultaneous turns. Alright, close battle, but we did it. Got a bunch of resources out of that too. Um... Pop in here for a turn. You pop in here for a turn. You need to get down here to help. All right, we got our skulls coming. That'll replace our existing support units. They can go join the B team to hold this seal over here. Three mercenaries, a scald and a pair of uh, mage lock shooters. Should be able to hold a seal.
what's what is a seal a seal is like a um to achieve a seal victory basically if you hold these items you will um slowly accumulate points per turn that once you have 120 of them in this particular map you will win the game so it's basically like a it's like the old magic victory but reworked let's explore this dark lair um no time to waste let's just attack we're up against some dire penguins i think we have the setup to defeat them without any losses we do uh we can get a gold wyvern mount super don't care release it into the wild or make it into a nice face cloak um you know what that's a nice face cloak okay so we captured the dark lair we definitely want to learn how to excavate the underground and we're going to make our way down here and start potentially founding a city and looking maybe to conquer the Sanctuary of the Horde. That might be something we do in a little while, though. Um, I don't know if we're ready for that. Okay, I'm going to need at least two army stacks over here to do this. We've got a Mage Lock Cannon in support. Let's put you into guard. We've got Reveler's Heart. Perfect. We definitely want to cast that. Let's select a new research. Ooh, I do like the siege project. Rebels of blood. 10 morale. Um, a 20 morale swing on a siege is pretty damn good. So we'll go for that. Um, we're also going to cast Reveler's Heart. Wyvern. Uh, all of my heroes use mage locks, which means they can't use mounts. So, yeah. need to capture these haste berries. I need to capture the seals too. Um, so I think it's time we went for another well we want to get close to this thing this pearl so we'll grab that farm there. Um, the Houndmaster is not very good for my build. I mean, he kind of has synergy, but he just doesn't just doesn't have the synergy we need. Um, you could produce me a couple of Afflictors to join that army. And Afflictors aren't bad units. They're In fact, they're incredibly good units, especially in comparison to the Houndmaster, who's been nerfed into oblivion, in my opinion. All right. So Warding Bond isn't very good. Restoration is nice because it can allow you to save a unit from death. You're just a tier 1 mage lock. I should really upgrade you. Blink is okay. Eh. Eh. Honestly, Virulent Outbreak is pretty good. I'll take Restoration. And Spur to Action. Yeah, we need to unlock Teleporters soon. Wizard Bond with Mishara. She likes empires with a single race and a deck. We have a declaration of friendship. I'll take that deal. Um, sure, let's be friends. Having a friend could be really useful here, especially because she's kind of my neighbor. I need to clear this out, dude. Good God. Do 
Yeah, I think for big games, simultaneous turns does make sense. I kind of wish cities spread a little bit quicker to new tiles. It feels like you build buildings way too fast compared to how fast the city grows, in my opinion. Um, I really do, like nine turns for growth in my capital is kind of insane. I think they need to speed up the city growth quite significantly, if you ask me. Um, Um, sure, like if I get a farm, it doesn't even scratch the surface. I could get a farmer's guild. Could be fun. Sure, I'll go all in on food in my capital. Um, right. You're healing up there. You've captured the dark lair. So I kind of want to build my city on this tile. Because then you're one, two, three away from this. You're one, two away from the dark lair. And then you're one, two, th two, three, four away from the world tree. So we would be able to get them all in a single city, which would be super, super, super good. Oh, nice. We got our first scald. Loving it. Should probably right click some of those. The problem with building food infrastructure is it feels like I'm building food infrastructure to build my food infrastructure faster. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like I'm actually getting much out of it unless I have anything that makes me scale by population. Which I guess, in theory, if I go to the Ironclad Citadel, sure, I get plus two stability per pop, which I guess is kind of cool. Oh, sweet. Uh, Farmer's Guild, Lose Imperium. Um, I think I'll speed up that Farmer's Guild. Do you know what's terrifying? This. Right, pop that war shaman out. Get a scald into here. So we're starting to make use of some really powerful units. The problem isn't early city growth. The problem is late game city growth is just so damn slow. Sure, Wizard's Bond. Sounds good. I don't know. I just think um, cities should claim tiles faster, I think. It still feels a little off to me.
City Happiness does affect uh, growth, but honestly, not that much. It's only negative. Like, 15% food is not that much, dude. Realistically. Alright. You go there. Move in. Move in. Kind of excited to see the Scald in action. We're up against some pretty high tier units. No losses. Let's have a look. Let's watch this replay. Ooh, it's a conduit. He retreats, he recruits a thing. Everyone gathers up into a nice big pile. These guys spread out for some reason. The Horned God is on his own. We move into a defensive formation, except for those guys. Eagle, the Flaming Eagle does a thing. Phoenix, rather. Right, you're, just, you're just in a bad spot. The fortune and strength is crazy good, though. Oh, spur to action on the on a bad unit. Regeneration hastened rally. Frozen. Give him that cannon blast. Oh, 92 damage. That's what we like to see. Subdued the frozen dude. I'm gonna get a bear after this? Not that I want a bear. Can you actually block the respawn spot of an eagle? Does he not just come back anyway? I thought he comes back anyway. Why are you hitting the bear? The bear's dead, dude. Wait, standing on it stops it coming back? Okay, that's kind of dumb. I never knew that. That completely changes how I'm going to fight phoenixes. Oh my god. That's silly. I don't really want a bear. It should be a pretty low risk battle, but let's see how it turns out. All right, we lost two mercs, but that's within the acceptable casualty limit here. I am tempted to see how well I can do if I fight this battle manually. Corpse blocking has been a feature since Age of Wonders 3. Nice. This is the first time I ever actually got to use the Scald unit since playing. And I have like... How many hours do I have in this game? I have like nearly 400 hours in this goddamn game. Jesus. Um... All right, alrighty. So I think the thing to do is to form a pike wall. As is our usual play. Um, I 
Oh, do you know what's so beautiful about these units? Move forward. Shoot. Guess what? I'm out! Big frost fire here. It's only six damage per unit, but hey. Big AoEs. Um. All right, Scald, drop your beats. Strengthened and fortune. I think we're going to go with the Song of Carnage here. And then you're going to spur him to action. Make sure everyone's facing the right way. Drop a little tincture on your boys. All right, let's do it. Look at all that morale. Oh, he's gonna nibble me. Oh my god. That's so much damage. Run. Wait. Run. Be patched. Uh, you also need to run. Why don't you go ahead and, let me see, what can you hit? You can hit him. Why aren't you guided projectiles? Huh. Mark him. On my mark. Oh, I can't quite hit the guy I want to hit. That's okay. Annoying. Uh, go distribute tonic to him. Shoot once. Boom. Go ahead and reload him. Shoot twice. Okay. Nice graze, dude. Uh, can we, we can't get any hits there. That's okay. All right, what do you got? You got nothing? Just defense mode. Pretty good hit from the frost fire. I think... I'm going to scoot you over here. Drop a marked. Poison dart him. Um, defensive modulus, unchain the man, you go here to get that mana unchained, uh, mark him, can't hit anyone that's fine, mana unchained here on these boys. You defensive, defense, defense, defensive, that's fine. You could potentially hit this. I'll take it, Graze. 
And... Ah, good kill. I'll save my spells for next turn. We resisted the frozen. Ugh! Quill bores. Damn quill bores. Ugh! They're doing a number on us! Alright, cannon. Do the other work. All right, bear needs to go down. 43% chance of distracted. We did distract him successfully. Let's drive him back. Then you can take the heavy mage lock shot at him. You can take the cannon shot at him. Chance of insanity? We do a little insanity. Need to get rid of these birds. Need to get a heal over here on some of these guys, actually. We need to drive him back further. Drive him back! The fool! Needs to be driven back. You take up the front line. Blast him to get him marked. Um, well, we can get that kill. Long range. Um, summon elemental. You know what? Go ahead and kill that guy. Oh, baby. How dare you? Poke him. He slipped away. Drive him back away from us. Let him regret his decisions. Yeah, take that bird bo beak. Uh. Um, go ahead and get that kill. Oh, uh, nice poke. All right, I think. That's basically it. Well, 65% chance. Eh, I'll take a grace. Jesus! Good God! Race and regeneration. Let's get some healing in here. Right, first things first, these guys are in bad shape. Where's my support unit? There was a support unit over here. Who has the restore unit? Damn it. We need to kill this big matriarch. She's gotta come down. 
Problem is, Frostfire Blast does so much damage to your own units. Absolutely whipping fire. Wow, nice miss, dude. I need to get another kill. These guys are on the verge of routing. Especially if I can get a big unit kill. Quick stab. Oh. Uh. Enemy flee. Come on. Damn it! Are you not routing yet? No? He needs to be flanked again. Boom. We don't want to win the battle immediately because I want to try to revive the unit that, lot, that I died. So what I want to try to do is stop him from escaping. Okay, there's a dead unit on this tile. So what I need to do is to surround him Wait, do I have a spur to action left? Non-hero. Damn it! Hmm. Now would be a good time if I had a net. If you go there, and you go there, <gasps> we've almost prevented him from escaping. Hold on. He can't get away this turn. Perfect. We saved him. Be healed! <laughs> Zero losses. Easy clap. Okay. Ton of food. Ton of gold. Ton of binding essence. Frost. Immunity ring. A dire bear. A locket of channeling. A giant's bane. Oh my god, I got a dire bear? This one I might keep, just because it's a tier 4. Melee Strike, Swipe, Blight Blades, Empowered Beasts, Engraving of Focus. Oh. I feel like this thing should count as a siege unit. You know? It costs Imperium upkeep and it doesn't fit into my build. Get deleted. 
Um, but I feel like we made huge progress. I did not mean to end the turn there. Many things were meant to be done there. Uh, hey, Potato, we'll be playing Forex games with the boys at the Jingle Jam. Uh, that is the plan, I think. Although I do need to jump on there and tell them what my plans are so they can book around me. I would I would say that my armies are starting to get quite rowdy. All right, I I want to take on this world tree, but I know that it's a really hard fight. So instead, I mean, I guess if I brought all my heroes, although I'd want them better equipped with items. I think I might just go fight for these haste berries over here. Have you tried any of the mods for this game? No. Let's make a pair of mage locks. So where do we go next? I think we want to go get these haste berries and kill these two monster dents. And... I reckon... We probably want to set up a teleporter to reinforce that seal. Um, let's make a quarry. We'll found a city. Farms grant plus five food. Now that's useful, especially when I'm trying to grow, 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 grow my capital. All right, so you pause here for a turn to heal. You guys are good to jump onto the water. As are you. Nice to meet you, Obscurum. Low risk battle. No losses. Just some damage. Take the rewards. Pop back on shore to heal. Before we move on. Ah, Rebels of Blood, new siege project. Um, Rebels of Carnage. Um, I think the Watcher is an okay unit. I'll quickly grab that. It does fit into some of my armies. Let's make sure we cast Reveler's Heart on the heirs of the dinosaurs. So now we get extra morale from all sources, meaning we'll hit max morale much faster. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to get fortune on these guys. Which now that I think about it, um, the Song of Carnage gives us fortune which is up to a 20% critical hit chance. So, uh, yeah, I think we're, I think we're basically good. We're kind of starting to hit our late game stride. So I think our goal now is to build the Seafarers Guild in this city because that's 15 gold, 15 food, 15 production and 15 draft. And that will continue to scale. Um, we'll get the Masonic Hall first. Let's 
will take a while to build. But we're gonna go straight for the Seafarers Guild to build this city up. Um, let's get Mysterious Tonic. The slight buff to our support units. Good God, look, I'm, I kind of regret making the map this big. <laughs> right. Um, I think we're going to take an overseer out of this army and replace it with a scald. Gonna take a mage lock out of this army, replace it with two mage lock cannons in the center. My hero. Eventually, these spearmen will get replaced, but right now they kind of actually do the job that they're required to do. Yeah, and I guess this mage lock can go join this army here. Alrighty. I basically I'm building a second army to go clear this seal. So I'm splitting off some units and stuff like that to uh set up for that. It's worth money for me to kill these. And I took no losses. Definitely worth it to clear some of these small monster dens for me. I bid farewell. So we found a Crefin down here. Let's grab that Dark Lair. Build the Mana Forge and the Lodestone Foundry. This city should get built up pretty quick, um, thanks to the Dark Lair. And it'll also give us a nice mana boost. Uh, let's cast that Mysterious Tonic. It will cost us a little bit of mana upkeep, but it will make our support units better. Has he crafted any high level muskets? I've been waiting. I really want to get the haste berries before I do that because um, mm. you know what? Let's just make better muskets. All right, what are we building in the capital here? Sure, let's build stone walls to upgrade this city's defensive capabilities. Um, yeah, I like archer battlements, caltrop stash. Takes a while for this payoff, like 20 plus turns, so I don't even know if this is worth building right now. Um, I do think a carnival of flesh somewhere over here will make sense. All 
Alright, what do you got going here? I definitely feel like this could be a gold production city with all of these mines that are available. Um, the question is, do we want to go for the Grand Wharf again and go for the Seafarers Guild? Or do we want to go for the Merchants Guild? I think while technically the Seafarers Guild is less, I will have more of those tiles. So, and also I get 10 gold per mine, or I get 10 mana per mine, so I'm going to get some mines. Fill that fishmonger. Um, replace you with a mine. Replace you with a mine. The two of my farms are getting replaced. Got a farm here. Hero leveled up. I'm more or less happy with his skill set, so I'm going to start going down the um, the fighting tree. Yeah. Now this guy, I'm going to design slightly differently just for fun. Um, but I do have an extra hero now who can go join the hero crusade. Eventually. I think I care too much about the boosts. It might be hindering my development of my economy. I mean, I have a very broad economy and a strong economic base, but I don't have a very good, like, my economy doesn't have very good direction. Regeneration is a bit of a problem for me too. Like my units can't really sustain much attrition. This is unhinged. Jesus Christ. All right, let's fight it. We're going to pack real tight. We're going to fall back to this sector. And we are going to pack our troops in extremely, extremely tight. Perhaps you get regen. Yep. Give yourself a heal. Get yourself back up.
All right, setting up the battle lines now. Alright, Scald, give me a song of fortune. Then I want you to re up him. And he's going to drop a song of carnage. Mage lock at the ready. Defense and depth. All right. Song of Revelry, Spur to Action. You'd have to get too close. Distribute tonic. Distribute tonic. All right, nice. Probably should summon that elemental. He can hold the front line for a turn. Metal Mark, let's go. What's your win condition, Potato? Uh, to enjoy myself playing the game. All right, they're in deep. Here we go, it's time for the battle. Um, we're gonna move you forward in, and you're gonna just quake. Perfect immobilization. Let's mark him. Distribute tonic to this unit. Two strengthened, perfect. Then you're going to blades. Um, you're gonna move forward. You're gonna drop an afflictor on him. And then you're gonna kill him. But he has a ton of negative status effects, so even if he lives, he'll get murked. All of my spearmen are in defense mode. You're going to shoot him and hopefully land the distracted. Would be great to get the insanity on the bear. He resisted. Um, let's mark him. 79 damage. Ooh, we can get a triple hit with our Mage Lock Cannon. Perfect attempt. Boom. Uh, we can perhaps get a double hit here with our Mage Lock Cannon. 
boom. Basically, I'm basically playing the um, the Skaven. Right, you just form a big old block and we shoot them down as they approach with like trash front line. Um, let's mark him. Forty-two damage. Defend. Let me see. Go ahead and mark him again. You shoot him. Spur this guy to action. Shoot him again. Ooh, I really need a better than, than that. Ooh, big AoE though. I think I'll take the big AoE. It's not amazing, but it is big and it is AoE. Um, 60% sanity. Insanity, lovely, and a crit. Um, a suppressing barrage wouldn't be the worst. It's kind of expensive, though. Oh, wow, we landed two immobilized there. Amazing. We're getting so much morale as well. Regen is happening. Oh, the insanity trigger. Now, this is going to be a pretty painful web. Yep, it hurt. Mostly slowed. No, no deaths. Oh. That was a flanking bear. Sorry. He died from all his negative effects. Um, you're my reviver, right? Bring him back. Get that triple hit. Lovely. Get that double hit. Lovely. Song of Carnage, Rally, Regeneration. Uh, tincture him. Weaken him. Finish him. Teleport there. Immobilize. Punch. What is this, a phase beast? God damn. Nice. Distribute a tonic. Drive him insane. Kill him. Perfect. Kill him. Kill him. Kill. This is where the pikemen move in, right? They break line, they break formation. You've got the enemy on the ropes. You need to come around here. You need to drive him back. Then this guy can shoot him. You need to move in, get that kill. Um, get in there, get these kills. They're on the verge of running. He dominated my unit. <sighs> right, we just need a few kills, and that should swing the battle in our favor. Boom, big game hunting. Any fleers? Uh, 
Can I get you to... How do I get you to shoot the ground? I forget. Alt? There you go. There you go. That's what we like to see. Get up there and jobber. Get her. There we go. That's a wrap. All right. Uh, I would call that a pretty successful fight. We lost nothing. We killed everything. We collected 90 gold and we cleared the nest. We got a golden wyvern mount and a dire bear. I'll be, I'm going to be real with you guys. These dire bears, they seem just kind of expensive and not very good. Ugh. Two bird nests in my zone. We're going to be clearing out enemies forever, dude. Anyway, uh, been streaming about three hours. That's going to be it for me. I want to thank you guys very much. So, uh, very much for watching. Love you all very much. Catch you on the something. Goodbye. Let me save it first. I'd call that a successful night. Playing a little bit of uh, Age of Wonders 4. Right.